Lovely, lovely, just tricked you there. Know. Got a good signal. That's got to be reviewed, especially on the first draft. Try it. Good afternoon people, PJT, rate my beer, no M. <laughs> right, okay, um, this is part two, as you'll know it's an unboxing of one that should have been done yesterday, unfortunately DHL didn't get their stuff here in time, so it only arrived today, so this is the one prior to yesterday's one. Um, this is from Trapdoor, we pick different beers and out they come. Um, one big huge problem was the main one of ordering this one I'd even done the artwork for for the review which I was doing later on today uh, was from Cloudwater and it was called When Autumn Winds Blow which was a 10% Hop and Bison unfortunately I got refunded for that one so that's a bit of a gutter but I understand these things do happen but we've still got 11 beers to talk about and they're obviously all UK brewed, which as I said, I'm trying to push as much as I can and review as much as I can. Right, the first one you'll know from me from time before. Sold out at Hackney Church, but not sold out there. Um, I've missed this beauty. It's going to be a while till it comes back. A multiple award winning beer. And I just saw that and I had to have it. No doubt about it. You know, when you're like, well, wow, okay, because I know it's going to be a while because they've actually brewed a Weizenbock with a chap from Rate My Beer and Real Craft Ale. So you won't be getting the beauty St. Clements for a little while. So I thought, yeah, why not? A nice cheeky can. Right, Gep Ge Gepil, or however it's called, unfiltered lager. Um, it's a Pilsner, obviously, as it says, unfiltered and unpasteurised. And it's from a company in North Wales I've seen around a few times. I don't recall actually trying one of their beers before. I went for the Pilsner. They do a complete range of different German beers. And then I went for the unfiltered Hefeweizen. And again, unfiltered, unpasteurised. 5.2% um, ABV. Oh, that's a 440ml can, by the way. And the it's 5%, isn't it? Yep, 5%. Same as the Blanc. That's 4.6 and that's 5.2%. So that's a, a different uh, Weizen beer. And I mainly went for Weizens in this order. Um, there was a few different things that I looked at. Um, Vault City, we all know them. Modern Sour Beer. Um, caught in the rain. Pina Colada Sour. I don't know be interesting I haven't seen anyone reviewed it I know it's not new I, as I know of these but I'd seen it around so I thought I'd give it a go next we've got bio, biochemist brewery up again up again anyway model on a Belgian wheat beer quite interesting isn't it only a 330 mil can um, yeah, Biochemist Brewery, Red Lodge, UK. Um, small batch production from Suffolk's Craftiest Fermentary. View our current range of beers at W and Cider on www.biochemistrybrewery.com. So, it's kind of interesting, isn't it? Beer contains, this beer is conditioned with li live yeast and contains harmless sediment, which can be left behind by pouring slowly and carefully. No, 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 you want the sediment, the best part. Pour it, shake it, get it in the glass. That is my forty on that one. So, then we have Polly's. This is one more for Michelle. Big Mountain Brewing and Champagne, a Champion Mont Blanc. Um, 5.8% 
440 mil can and it's collaboration pale ale and it's brewed in North Wales which is Polly Polly's headquarters as I'm sure a lot of you know. Now this one intrigued me because it's called Elderweiss and it's a Weizen beer um, comes in at 5% from a company called Fierce and Noble um, 500 mil can meaning Noble White Elderweiss is a wheat beer inspired by the traditional German summer style full body naturally hazy with a crisp and refreshing finish that kind of sounds easy good enough I don't know how they managed to call it Edelweiss because it's all the Australian one I would have thought that wouldn't have been allowed but obviously there's there's no copyright there and there is a card draft about craft craft beer podcast two guys called Dave there's a lot of people called Dave aren't there anyway and then I had to have this one um, this is a collaboration of Brew York and Heist Brew um, 6.5 ABV and it's Banana Galetto Smoothie Sour um, thick and thick and fruity with a creamy vanilla finish I don't know if this will be a sour as I interpret a sour I would probably not on the read up on the write up sorry but it still sounds good and I thought it's worth a try um, for me a sour should be sour sour not these sour smoothies I don't see why it's called a, a sour smoothie when a lot of the time <clears throat> there isn't anything actually sour about it so I don't know just my opinion anyway right craft beers copper beach brewing company and from them we have this is oh no it's vegan friendly ah dog days <laughs> yeah I remember now dog days another uh, Belgian inspired wheat beer um, 5.1% ABV for 40 mil can. Good date on it as well. 10.24. So yeah, as I say, as you can see here, if you take out the equation here, you would say, oh, that's a pills now, there is some different wheat beers to try. So yeah, so far five wheat beers compared to four others. I say unfortunately the best one was missing. I am gutted, but I do understand these things happen. So what have we here? These look quite similar, these last two of them. Oh no, they're not similar. They're, they did look similar in the pack, but right. Anyway, right, first we've got Raptor Vienna. Oh, Hefeweizen. I don't know whether that's the name or it's a Vienna type of beer, which would make not a lot of sense to me. Um, brewed in Whitby, uh, about the beer. New style of lager, which used two different types of yeast, Nottingham Ale and Banana Split Yeast. Alongside the malt, black malt, chocolate and lager malt, we use two different hops, Moo, Tekka and Bobek, to give the black lager a fresh taste. We hope you enjoy this beer. Blimey. Okay, um, something different. In a 440ml can, 5% ABV, it seems it's a black lager Hefeweizen. God knows, but, you know, if you don't try, you will never know. And last but not least, we have Michelle. No. Space T-Rex, a Hefeweizen again, 5% ABV again. Lady Luck Brewery, I don't think I've had anything by them. They're Whitby as well, so they must be the same brewery. Yeah, they are both the same brewery. So I'm not silly as I look. So yeah, the Raptor and the Space T-Rex, the ones I picked out, are both from the same brewery. See, not as silly as I look, people. Um, about the beer, the, 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 we hope you enjoy this beer. It says literally the same as that one. Yeah. But this one's not a black lager. Interesting. Maybe I'll do them off together. Michelle can drink one, I can drink another, another. something like that. Worth thinking that anyway, but that's it as I say. You've got literally seven different vies and beers, or one you know and four other ones and one non-starter because unfortunately as I said it didn't arrive um, but apart from that they did ship it out um, in 24 hours it would have got here yesterday but that was DHL which is obviously out of um, trapdoors control you hand the package over you expect it to be delivered as and when it's said unfortunately that doesn't always happen with DHL quite a lot it appears but that's one of them things anyway um, what can I say thanks for watching let us know what ones 
you've tried, any faults, what you want to see first, bonjour.